of the game. Oh, and that one not too far away. Kershaw took the big stride forward. And oh, how about that? Don't worry about the onside. Hit it through the offside, says Katie Mack. A boundary off her first delivery. Well. Kershaw, wow. lovely straight drive down the ground. That is textbook. And a flawless shot from Erica Kershaw. Her first boundary at the boarding. Kershaw this time whacking that one through extra cover. That's a lovely shot and a second boundary for the over. Sensational stroke. Edge, and is it dropped? It is dropped. A chance in that finest gully region. An appeal for LBW and it's given. The dangerous Katie Mack is on her way and Ellie Falconer strikes. She's been bowling... Very, very well. Tight lines. Very good length. Osborne hits that one in the air. That's a lovely shot. And that's gone all the way for a maximum. Falconer is charging back in. Dry and driven beautifully through the covers by Aaron Osborne. They'll just stroll down to the other end. A oh, great shot from Aaron Osborne. Got down on one knee and swept it. Second bounce down to fine leg for four runs. Um, cover drive as well. Oh, and she's stumped, I reckon. She's gone. Kershaw trying to work her way down the track. Good flight from Gemma Barsby, and she's duly rewarded. So Erica Kershaw on her way. Bets again. Shorter length, and it's hit through where first or second slip might have been, and that should run down to the boundary for four runs. It does now. We're our vantage spot here out on the veranda. Bold! Oh, it's a good delivery there from Peterson. Porter got caught at the crease. Looking to maybe launch a bit. Betts. And that's out. Caught and bowled straight back to the bowler. So back-to-back -back wickets fall here. This one in the air. And it's well taken. Well judged there. In the air at point. Courtney Webb taking the catch. And another wicket falls. Annie Wickman on her way. She was getting... Down the ground. Erin Osborne. That's as straight as you could wish. Straight down the ground for a boundary, a timely one for the ACT Meteors. Swept away by Hancock, that's a lovely shot. Bisected the field well, struck it back with a square leg for a boundary. Here we go again. This one's full and bowled straight through. Fantastic bowling there from Falconer. Full of delivery, well struck by Zoe Cook. Piercing that one through point, and that's going to race away to the boundary for four. Falconer oh, comes in now short and pulled away, and that'll bring up a 50 to Aaron Osborne. Back-to-back -back 50s in WNCL for the veteran Meteor, and another very well compiled innings. Cook on her haunches, pulls that one away, back with a square leg. Does it beat Peterson? It does. Osborne down the track, whacks that one in the air, and she's basically conceded that that's out. So, a big wicket, Aaron Osborne dismissed for 53. Try to whack that one down into the deep. And gone! Could this be a hat-trick? She's on a hat-trick, Gemma Barsby, Zoe Cook dismissed. And all of a sudden, the momentum switches again. And Peterson strikes very good delivery. Rafferty's on her way. A nice, relatively full delivery. May have been a touch of bat on that one as well. Harris is back in again. Bowls to the right hander now. This one's lofted. Down the mid-off. And Barsby takes a very comfortable catch. And that completes the innings. Eric Osborne, 53. The key figure. Erica Kershaw at the top of the order with 29. Zoe Cook was pretty good as a cameo towards the back end of the innings with 21 off 27 with a couple of boundaries, but really there was no one else. And Bowls now, and it's full, driven more straight. Past the right hand of Hancock, all the way down the mid on for four. Hancock, can she make that adjustment? Yes, she does. Bowls her straight through. What a comeback. Boundary one ball, middle stump back the next. Cook now from the Mawson end. Bowls and it's driven beautifully through the covers. Lovely shot by Josie Dooley and it'll run away to the rope. Debro strikes that one in the air. Will this be taken in the outfield? And it's a good catch. Annie Wickman takes the catch.
pulled away by Courtney Webb. A sensational shot. Found the vacant real estate and utilised it with a boundary. Now Rafi bowls and cut away beautifully between point and gully. And that should run away to the rope for four runs. It does. So nice shot from Courtney Webb. Maybe she should be doing the coin toss. That's, again, worked away very nicely by Courtney Webb through mid-wicket for four. So Bates, oh, that's short, pulled down and heaved away on the onside between mid-on and mid-wicket, and that'll go away to the boundary for four. So Alicia Bates here just pulling one down there. Something special is going to have to happen, I think. Ah, uh, good shot. Off the back foot, beats to cover. Courtney Webb brings up another boundary with a beautiful shot. Off the back foot, through the covers. Four runs, score. Oh, Dooley finds the gap superbly. Through the covers, that'll race away for four more. And Dooley will try and scramble through for the single, and she is successful. That brings up a lovely half century. A disciplined one at that. Her first half century for the WNCL season, Josie Dooley. And Courtney Webb will follow her teammates' example and register her own half century. Her second for the WNCL season. And very disciplined in front of... Oh, full toss. Dispatched there by Courtney Webb. Almost a tennis serve-like shot for four. Alicia Bates... Bowles is tossed up, hit on the full, over the mid-on, and it's caught. And the signal is that it is a legal delivery. Yep. Uh, the catch has been taken there at mid-on. Yeah. I said that at the time, but it was close. So the new batter in, and O'Neill straight away off the mark with a punch through covers for four. Off the back foot, if you don't mind. Beautiful footwork. On strike now, and decides she'll go long. No one in the outfield, over mid on. One bounce for four. Late cut from Josie Dooley, and she hits the winning runs fittingly. Won't quite get to the boundary for four, but it doesn't matter. It's all academic now. South Australia claiming a dominant victory in the nation's capital over the ACT Meteors. They've done it by seven wickets.